some of the best tips, tricks, and habits for you when it comes to stress-free home making. For example, do you know what this is? I bet you're gonna say dryer lint. No, this is not dryer lint, but that is pretty nasty. But this is actually very useful. Ugh, ugh. Mm. That ain't right. Like, why? Why is this so? This so much of it. If you are new here, this channel is dedicated to all things cleaning tips and tricks. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get into it. After this first trick, you will never throw away your bread bags. Again, so useful, and I'm gonna save you a ton of money with these babies. Oh, our beloved plants. I have to contain myself from buying more at the store. I'm done having children, and I don't have any pets, so plants is the name of the game. I wanna keep them alive for as long as humanly possible, much like my children. But what often happens with our plants and our potters when they sit in the water? They end up getting root rot, and then they die faster and you're like, oh my goodness, I just spent 15, 20 dollars on this plant. Why is it dead already? And maybe you don't want to drill a hole in your beautiful ceramic pot. When the water has no place to go, the roots of your plants just sit in that water over extended periods of time and they do not like that. You will never want to throw away a bread bag again after seeing this. Save those, my friend. Do you have a lot of garbage that likes to accumulate in your car? Yep, a bread bag is the perfect place for that. Just put it in your side door. When you get home, go ahead and dispose of all the items. If you're ever feeling sick in your car or you have people who frequently get car sick, keep a bread bag. I do recommend doubling up. One of the most frustrating things when you travel is when you realize that your shampoos, conditioner have exploded in your suitcase. No more, my friend. And Ziploc bags can get real pricey, so utilize those old bread bags. You can even double it up for extra measure. Place that in whatever carrying container and you have double the prevention when it comes to anything exploding in your travel adventures. If you dry your clothes, then you too probably have an excess amount of lint. But what do you do with all that dryer lint? Once you have cleaned it up, put it in a bread bag along with any dryer sheets if you use those as well. And what's great about these dryer sheets is you can actually use it to clean the lint and dust that accumulates on the top of your toilet. Vacuum cleaner lint, oh yeah, that's what's in this bowl. Save those old egg cartons and you can also make an excellent fire starter in seconds. Look at the price point on these Ziploc bags. Can you imagine if you saved all of your bread bags, how much money you would save? Now grab your scissors and cut off the top of that bread bag. We're gonna come back to those beautiful, precious plants. Make it as deep or as shallow as you need to. Stick that bread bag directly in the pot. What we're gonna do here is create a barrier. And depending upon the size of your pot, you may need to cut a little bit down the side to make your bread bag a bit wider. In order to keep this super low cost and DIY, if you have some rocks laying outside or maybe you find them on an adventure, save them. I particularly like the smaller rocks, so that's what I'm hunting for now because my pots are quite small. If you have a larger pot, use larger rocks. And what you're going to do is you're going to put this in the bottom of your bread bag. And I would fill it up depending upon the size of the pot that you are working with. Create a barrier here and then watch what happens. Once you've placed the pot in the bread bag rocks, put it in its original potting container to decorate with style. You can see here in the bottom of this planter all the water that's just been sitting there. And that's been sitting there for months. Now my plants are thanking me for taking better care of them. Are you making some soft butter, but you realize everything's in your refrigerator and it is hard as a rock? Grab yourself some mayo, two slices of bread, some cheese, then squirt the mayo on top. Can you guess what we're making here today? Rub that into your bread. This is gonna create a nice flavor profile. I also love this garlic pepper seasoning. I've never had a grilled cheese and mayonnaise sandwich before. Typically it's butter, so this is an on-screen first taste test with you. Let me know in that comments box below if you've ever put mayonnaise on your grilled cheese. It seems so weird.
it's good. It adds like a little extra tangy flavor. I love putting a little garlic pepper on there as well, but this might be my new go-to. Yeah. And according to Southern Living, you will have a nice tang with a perfectly crisp exterior. Okay, Natalie, take a bite. Let me know what you think. A thousand million. Are you for real? Mm-hmm. So mayo, not butter? Yeah, mayo. Okay. Do you store your bread like this horizontally? I know I have done this for years. Do you remember bread boxes? I haven't seen them for a long time, but I know they are super popular. They do take up an excess amount of space because of the horizontal nature, but let's see if we can access that vertical space. I found this container here at Walmart airtight, just under $14. This airtight lid is awesome, keeping your bread fresher for longer, saving you space and saving you money. Now I do need to point this out, the pieces at the bottom of your container will get a little bit flatter due to gravity, but I don't mind that, especially for toast purposes. I try out all the acts that I see floating around the internet, and in particular this one. Not all hacks are created equal or are worth while. Let's try this out. What you're supposed to do is take your bread and roll it in a nice spongy ball, just like this. And depending upon the size of the picture that you want to hang, you may need to make your ball bigger or smaller. Figure out where you want to hang your beautiful painting. And then we're going to move to our next step here, which is to take that bread ball and stick it to the back of the hook where you would be hanging that picture or nailing a hole in the wall. Kind of like gum, but not damaging to the wall. You can see here I pressed it in, it's pretty gummy. And the idea is that you are to transfer the bread ball to the wall so you know exactly where to hang your picture. Nah, this is a big thumbs down for me. But let me show you an alternative trick when it comes to hanging pictures. Just grab yourself a clothespin, stick your nail inside, make sure that it is nice and secure. The clothespin allows you to hang onto that nail a little bit better. You can see I've created a very tiny hole. Now I know exactly where to hammer it. Now I'm gonna show you something that you can make that is super tasty if you have bread that's about to expire or maybe you have some flat bread or maybe you just have some perfectly good bread. And they are ready about a minute later. The cheese is all melted and it's ooey and gooey. This is absolutely delicious and incredibly easy and quick. And of course, I have to pair my pizza with some ranch. Let me know in the comments box below if you are team ranch, all things ranch. Honestly, this might be my new favorite way to eat pizza. So good. And if you've never tried this Olive Garden Italian dressing, I highly recommend it. You can also use this as a marinade or simply place it on your garden salad. Now, I just want to show you something. The next day, your bread here on the end will be a little bit flatter because of gravity pushing down on these bottom pieces. So if you do not mind that, then this is an excellent alternative for keeping your bread 
nice and fresh and saving space in your pantry. I don't mind this because my kids actually prefer a little bit flatter bread when it comes to their sandwiches. It's easier to pack. And also, if you plan on toasting your bread, then this works fantastic. Lemon and olive oil. These babies are not just for your kitchen. Watch what we can do with them. Olive oil and lemon juice, such a fierce dynamic combination. See these scratches all over my wood here? Yeah, this is a before of what we are working with. We are gonna shine these up and help reduce the appearance of those many scratches. There are no exact amounts when it comes to the amount of olive oil or lemon juice that you need to use with this. So just eyeball it. Start with a little bit less and a really good microfiber towel. You can see this tray is shiny, bright, looks a little bit newer. I'm loving it. The scratches are not going to disappear because it is a damage within the wood, but we certainly can reduce the appearance of them. Scratches on this wood top were here when we moved in, but a little bit later in the video, I'm gonna show you a little trick to ensure that you never have these sort of scratches again. Now, look at the difference that this has made. And when it dries, it will still be nice and shiny. It won't look as wet, but it will just give your countertops, your wood, new life. But if you're wanting to reduce the appearance even more, Dollar Tree sells wood markers so you can find one that matches your particular piece. Next, we're heading over to the Goodwill or any particular thrift store. Grab your coffee and strap it in its seatbelt. I'm usually in thrift stores for quite some time. I really like to peruse, take my time, and the coffee definitely helps. I found this gorgeous wooden tray that we're also gonna revive. I may use this in my home, I may style this in a client's home, but the price point on this is amazing. Just $6.99. You can truly find some hidden gems when you thrift. I usually find these in the houseware section. Goodwills are usually divided between clothing and housewares. I always make my way to see what sort of gems I can find. You can see how dirty this is. I am appalled and amazed all at the same time. So satisfying. this was going to be dirty, but I didn't know it would be this dirty. I have a video about how to wash microfiber towels without damage, so I'll link those in the description box below for you. You can see here there is some damage left over on this wooden tray, but that is just fine because I plan on putting an item over top such as a beautiful candle or some flowers so you can mask some of the imperfections, steals and deals. And if you need to remove a stuck on sticker, grab yourself some olive oil. Olive oil works like magic when it comes to removing makeup, even waterproof makeup. Or maybe you got some grease on your hand or something really, really stuck on. Head to your kitchen or your pantry and grab that olive oil. You can also use this to moisturize your cuticles. So many amazing uses for this everyday pantry item. Do you have some shaving cream laying around your house? Maybe you use it to shave your legs, your arms, all the areas, but I don't know what most of these ingredients are in the shaving cream. I do like to clean with shaving cream, but I don't particularly love putting it on my body. Swap out your shaving cream and shave with some olive oil instead. It will moisturize and get the job done all in one. I bought leather chairs because I thought they would be easy to clean Clean and they would be comfortable. However, my kids like to scratch at them. I didn't think about that when I was purchasing this beautiful set from West Elm. Grab a little olive oil, a little will go a long way and you can really shine up and revive your leather and reduce the appearance of those scratches.
And since I have four small children, we have a lot of sticky things they like to eat that get stuck on stuff. So this olive oil really helps lift that up, which means less scrubbing for me. Do you have any stainless steel in your house? Maybe you have a sink, a refrigerator, or a dishwasher. We tend to accumulate quite a few fingerprints. Olive oil is a great alternative to reducing those fingerprints and making it shine. And I will tell you, use just a little and you do wanna buff it out. Otherwise it will attract more fingerprints. But you can see here, it is looking so shiny and like new. Here is a frequently used yet neglected area in my home. I'll save this one for a later video. Let me take you into my boys' room right here. If we open and close this door, you can hear. Ah, oh, I'm seeing some dirt. Stay focused, Andrea. Now, I like the squeaky door because we can hear when they are trying to leave their bedroom at night and tiptoe downstairs, but let's cut them a little slack and I wanna show you this cool trick. And let's just hear that door one more time, shall we? Again, you get the point. Take a little olive oil on your rag and rub it very generously in and around that entire hinge. And we're gonna get this side as well. Get in and around there, cleaning all at the same time. Moment of truth, survey says, Oh my goodness, that's exciting. If you find that the squeak is not gone, you're gonna need to apply more olive oil. This is a great all natural solution for eliminating those squeaks. Do you ever feel like you're drowning in plastic bags because you do grocery pickups, say at Walmart or Target? They're taking over your entire house. Well, I have a simple solution for you. Did you know that bags are banned in many states? I am in full support of that. But when I do grocery pickup, they tend to use plastic bags. So I want some clever ways to reuse them. In the past, I would just crumple up my plastic bags and then put them in various places in my home, such as under sinks, but they take up a lot of space even if you use a storage container. This trick is quick and easy to roll up the bag and just close it in on itself. You may have seen the trick where you fold it in triangles, my friend. I am not spending five minutes to put a bag in triangles. So this is an excellent alternative. Now, depending upon the size of your bag and how much air you are able to release from your bag, you can make it a bit smaller or make it a bit bigger. But when you get back from your grocery pickup, if you do have an excess amount of bags like I do, you can quickly do this and they will look so organized and you will have saved yourself so much space. I'm loving this, this is so cute. And that literally probably took me, I don't know, like 10 seconds to do the bag. This is also really effective in your car. Remember the bread bags? Well, you can also reuse your plastic bags. I like to keep one in my side door in case someone, you know, is feeling sick on a car ride. I have a poopy diaper. Someone needs to throw something away. If you have a wet umbrella, keep that plastic bag in your car and then you can just plop your wet umbrella in there rather than putting it on your seat and causing any damage. Now this next one's a little unconventional, but it absolutely works. Let's say that you're in a hotel and you need to cover your hair because you're not gonna be washing your hair. I don't know about you, but I don't wash my hair every single day. So all you have to do, take this. Now obviously don't put this over your face, but you can make yourself a makeshift shower cap. Just twist it in the back, roll it in, and look. Look at this, you guys. Oh my word. Ooh, she looks real pretty. Yes, you lucky. But that's why it's called a hat, because it's a little bizarre, but it's effective. Now, if you're looking for a really cute shower cap, this is my go-to one right here. Came in a two pack, I love it. I mean, I don't know, this one or this one. Thank you, Walmart. Just think of how much space I would save if I rolled all my bags like that. And that right there, we're gonna get to that gem in just a minute. And this expires within five days and you know mama hates wasted stuff. And I'm eating this again for lunch. Want a bite? It's really good, tasty. I like to eat the same thing over and over again until I get so sick of it. Let me know in the comments box below if that happens to you too. 
you have any old bed sheets or curtains lying around your house? Well, I have the perfect little trick for you. Oh yeah, this is a good one. The next time you're out thrifting, grab yourself an old sheet or what I think is even better, an old curtain. I love this one right here. It actually has three layers. It's nice and thick. It's large. I can double it up and it's only $3.99. This is going home with me for a really clever trick that I'm gonna show you next. You're gonna to think to yourself, why didn't I do that sooner? No matter what I buy from the thrift store, I'm always sure to wash it, even though the job that I'm gonna be using it for may not require it to be washed. And if you've never used this Clorox color load, I highly, highly recommend it. It's gonna help you remove any smells or stains easier and faster. Pour it right in with your normal laundry detergent. And of course, I like to wash everything on a hot setting, especially if it's something that I got from the thrift store. You are gonna feel like a boss when it comes to moving anything heavy. Not only is it gonna make it easier for you, but you're going to reduce any amount of damage that can occur when you're moving large, heavy items. I recently found these side tables that I'm going to repurpose from the thrift store and just grab some Walmart spray paint. So a little trick here to protect your floors, your grass, whatever it is that you're gonna do this project on is to use, again, an old bed sheet, but even better, an old curtain. Yes, these are my husband's shoes. Does anyone else put on oversized shoes when they run out to their garage? Because you can easily slip them on and off. And I should actually pull out of my closet now that it's no longer winter. Are these gems right here? These are my super comfy garage shoes like clouds. This is an excellent way to pack and protect your dishes, your beautiful china, basically anything that could potentially get broken when you are moving. bands these little things are not just for tying your hair by the way do people still use these in your hair they rip them you know what out of it i have two types of chopping boards this first one here is from amazon it already has rubber grips on it so that it does not slide when you're chopping you're busy in the kitchen you're doing all the things this one right here i love this chopping board i love the handle it's easy to use however it slides so easily and I don't want anyone cutting any fingers. So grab yourself two rubber bands. I prefer the thick ones over the thin ones and you'll see why. Now you can see this cutting board is stuck in place, which is awesome. And you may notice these stains right here on my cutting board. Stay tuned because I will have an upcoming video for you about how to remove stains on your cutting board. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you do not have a wrapping paper storage container such as this one I have here, I wanna show you a really great trick when it comes to organizing your wrapping paper. Oftentimes wrapping paper can get damaged because it starts to unroll, gets all crinkly, it doesn't look as good. So use this little tip here. You may have seen the paper clip trick and I think that works okay. But if you use a rubber band to put on the ends of your wrapping paper or maybe in the middle, just depending upon the type of wrapping paper that you have, I think it works even better. I have found with the paper clips, they can tend to pop off when you're grabbing things quickly in and out of your storage place. So this rubber band trick is an even better alternative when it comes to keeping your supplies nice and intact and easy to use for the next time. Have your bookmarks ever fallen out and you think to yourself, oh my goodness, what page was I'm on? Or even with your kids, it's in their backpack, it's going on the counters, it's all over the place. They can easily lose the spot in their book, but not anymore.
This is also an excellent tip for keeping your book together. If you're traveling, you could even stick notes inside of that rubber band. You could clip a pen on it. The possibilities are endless. Are you tired of all of your beauty supplies tipping over whenever you reach for them and then you have to spend the time to plop them on their appropriate end? This is annoying, this is frustrating, and looks really sloppy. So I'm going to show you a way to fix this mess with little to no effort involved. Grab yourself some rubber bands. I'm gonna use three. I do like the thicker ones. I think they stay a little bit better. And you're gonna wrap them around your organizing container. You can also do this little hack with a basket, anything really, and watch what happens. What's really great about the rubber bands is that you can adjust them as needed depending upon how big of products you have in your container. So if you have rather large products, you can create more space between those rubber bands if you have smaller products. And look at this, nothing is tipping over, everything is staying in its home. Look at that, that lotion back there wants to fall over. Uh-uh-uh, buddy, you are staying in your home. most people spend the majority of their time in their homes. Their kitchen! Well, if you're like me, I pretty much live in my laundry room. Laundry, laundry, all day, air day. So if I can save time in the kitchen, well, I am sharing a genius trick with you. You're gonna be saying to yourself, where has this been my entire life? At least that's what I've done. A chopper, but not just any chopper. I have owned my fair share of choppers and I am loving this one because of the size, the ease, how well it minces everything should you want things minced. It can also whip things. Again, nothing in this video is sponsored. Let's do a little experiment, shall we? I'm gonna set my timer and I'm going to chop my peppers the old fashioned way as I typically would in my kitchen. Just chopping away, having the time of my life and we're gonna stop this timer and see where we're at. We are at one minute and 18 seconds. Let's just see how it compares to our new found chopper. And we are at 51 seconds. Look at the beauty. These are wonderfully exciting. How quick is that? If you're having a party or you need to chop up a bunch of stuff, just think of all those seconds and minutes that you are gonna save in your day so that you can enjoy yourself even more. A little tip with this handle, make sure it is locked into place. You'll hear a little click. I didn't do that when I was doing our little experiment here, so it took me a little bit more time. I actually could have shaved off a few more seconds if I had popped that in correctly. Have you ever seen these pole choppers? I think they look cool. However, a lot of people complain that when they're washing them, the string will break because water settles in there. So if you're in the market for a new chopper and you wanna save yourself time and cook up some really healthy meals, fast, quick, efficient all those wonderful words then this is a great option for you and the best part it's easy to store all these little gadgets meaning three of them fit right in its container oh yeah I love things that are easy to store I can easily access them if you can keep these sorts of items easily accessible for you that way you're more likely to get more use out of them Check out this rack here. This is one of my recent Amazon purchases and I use it every single week. This has saved me so much time in the kitchen as well for drying water bottles. So with six people in this family, we have a lot of water bottles.
Now doesn't that just look tasty? I eat this for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It literally takes me no time to reheat this and cook those eggs. So now that you have a ton of vegetables on hand, you can prepare some really healthy, delicious things that will fill you up and make you feel amazing. What I like to do is prepare this garden mash on a Sunday when my youngest daughter is napping so that I have it all week long. And if you're new here, I run a fitness channel on YouTube and I will link it in the description box below with three quick and effective at home workouts. Oh, it's so pretty. No, this is not for brushing your hair. Can you guess what it's for? Let's dive into the last hack. This is one of my recent thrift store finds for just $6.99 for this beautiful tall basket. And I have just the place to use this in my home. I was thinking about using this in a client's home, but I loved it too much and I decided to keep it for myself. Grab your soft yet super effective shoe brush. You're gonna want some gloves too, and just go to town. This also works great on wood or anything delicate that you want to clean, and you will not believe how much dirt and grime I was able to get off this basket. I couldn't see it visibly, but just hold tight and you'll see. This brush did an amazing job and she is looking so pretty. Now, I just wanna show her off, but look at under here, all of that grime, dirt, cobwebs. I think I saw a spider crawl out of there. It did not damage the basket. Now grab yourself some of this Mean Green Super Strength. I use this on basically everything that I thrift. I use it around my home. In fact, one of you suggested this cleaner and I bought two big bottles because I loved it so much. Now I'm gonna really go in and give it a good deep clean and you'll see what I mean when I'm talking about dirt and grime. Just one side, look at that. It's so satisfying and disgusting all at the same time. Oh yeah, I was able to cover almost this entire rag with dirt. I'm grateful for this basket. She's just sparkly, she smells wonderful. I cannot wait to put her to use. I don't know why I feel like she's a female, but she is. But I'm worried about these ends, these legs scratching any surface that I put it on. So I'm gonna show you a little trick to use. Got these super sliders at Walmart. I also found them on Amazon. I'm gonna link them in the description box below for you. These come in handy on coffee tables, but it's also gonna come in handy where I'm going to put this. Oh, this is gonna solve so many problems that I have in my house. And I wanna know in that comments box below if you experience this upcoming issue in your home and they stick super well. Shoes, shoes, and more shoes. I'm stacking them vertically here. That way I can fit more in this basket. Now summer's coming along, so I will be able to fit even more because sandals are much slimmer, but this looks so much better in my mudroom entryway. I'm loving it. I just want to hang out here all day. The shoe brush is not only great to clean hard to reach places and delicate items, if you have some artificial or real plants that you need to get the dust off, I know a Swiffer is not gonna work very well to get in all those intricate details of our beautiful full plants, so this works great. Look at all that dust I picked up just from this little tree that I have. We're gonna go ahead and clean out the garage here. I'm gonna show you another cool little trick. If you guessed broom cleaning, you would be correct. This works so well to clean those broom bristles. Look at all the debris I was able to get there in my sink. And how about some boots? Did some walking outside, collected quite a bit of mud, and I do not want to damage these. Again, going in with the mean green because it is mean green and effective. They are looking so shiny and like new. I'm just gonna put them in my garage here to dry out. So next time you need to clean something delicate, think of using a 
a shoe brush. In the description box below, I have a free newsletter sign up where I share the best cleaning and organizing tips and tricks on a weekly basis. So make sure that you sign up for that so that you are the first to know. We are on the road to 1 million subscribers. So if you enjoyed this content and found it helpful, make sure that you share it with a friend. You can share it via text message. You can share it via email and or you can share it on Facebook. I appreciate you greatly. If you want to see some additional genius home organizational hacks and a really good transformation, click the video on screen now. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.